Hi, I'm actor Steve for Get Out There Magazine. Today I'm getting on my bike, riding 170 kilometers to Kingston, sleeping overnight, and riding back the next day. Welcome to Rideau Lake Cycle Tour. Before starting, all riders had to make their way to Algonquin College to pick up their race bibs and to drop off their luggage, which would be transported to Queen's University in Kingston. So the bikes are ready to go, the bodies are as ready as they're going to be, so let's get out there. Now in its 44th year, Rita Lake Cycle Tour actually offers four different courses. There's the Classic, which is 170 kilometers, the Challenge, which is 220, the Century, which is 100, and the Cruise, which is about 180. In all cases, you go through the beautiful Rideau Lakes region and the Ottawa Valley. So this is the first stop on the tour. We're in Ashton. We're about 33 kilometers into the ride. Everything is going really well. The next 40k between Ashton and Perth was pretty smooth riding with some decent pavement along the way. So just riding around here, nice roads, making our way into Perth for the 70k spot on the ride. So far, so great. So we made it here to Perth, we're 73k into the ride, and that's one of the major stops. There's lots of food and drink here, uh, some for sale, some for free, and uh, the sun's still shining and we should have a great ride for the next 100 kilometers into Kingston. For me, I'd say the next 70 kilometers of the classic route are what makes this a special ride. Over this distance you cover some great lake terrain as well as a great downhill descent at Westport. All of this then leads you into the final kind of rolling sections that takes you to your final rest stop. And at that point, you've only got oh, about 30 kilometers left before Kingston. Another roadside stop, about 30 kilometers to go. Stop and get some water. And then on to Kingston. Although the roads are not close to traffic, there are course marshals that have their yellow sashes that join along with the riders. As well, there are plenty of OPP police patrolling and helping keep the traffic at bay. And of course, it feels great when you finally roll into campus ready to finish your ride. So, just arrived here at Queen's, finished the ride, got our keys for the uh, accommodations, and now it's uh, on to the beer garden suit. So, the great part is we arrive here and all the luggage is waiting for us, so we just have to get our bags and head to our dorm. So, back to the college life. Here's our dorm room for the night. Lovely bed with a duvet. We got our uh, shelving for all our stuff and plenty of closet space. Today was one of the best Rideau Lakes ride ever. Sunny, not too hot. A tailwind, especially we're gonna have a tailwind tomorrow. Can't get better than that, and there's beer. Yes indeed, there was beer, and there was wine. There were also soft drinks and food available, including chips and sausages. And with the wonderful weather that we had, most of the riders chose to hang out and talk about their day with all their fellow riders before heading to the dining hall for supper. Well, with hundreds of uh, hungry bike riders, it's a good thing we're here at the cafeteria in the university where everybody can get their fill of food and then some. There was something on offer for everyone. There's plenty of hot entrees as well as soup, a salad bar, lots of fruit to choose from, and a huge array of desserts. The next morning we have got to start all over with breakfast. So everyone's here this morning waiting to get a nice shot of air in their tires make sure the pressure's up high before we hit the road back to Ottawa. First big climb of the day, heading up and out of Kingston, back into the Ottawa Valley. To address any roadside breakdowns and to keep all our bikes running smoothly, there were mechanical support trucks from both Bush Tucka and from Velofix along the course to address any problems we might run into. Another day, another rest stop. We're here at the Rideau Lakes Township stop. Last stop before the Westport Hill, the big climb. Of course, the best part of these little rest stops is you got options to uh, get some food. I got some chocolate, peanut butter, Rice Krispie Square, got some water, and all the funds go to support the communities along the route. Okay, you're making your way up the dreaded Westport Hill. What are your thoughts? As you can see, day two weather was as spectacular as day one weather. It's all about the right food at the right time, and right now it's all about the sweets. The best part of having so many riders on course is that if you get tired, you can just hang on to the back of a group of riders and get the benefit of drafting. But regardless of which route you took and how long you cycled, it felt great to finally make it into Algonquin and finish. So oh, we're just riding into the, uh, the final few meters. There's no official finish line, but we all kind of assume this means it's the end of the tour here. Well, as riders come in from finishing their ride, they get the option of coming in here to the courtyard and grabbing some uh, food, hamburgers or sausages. There's also the ability to pick up some nice cool beers to celebrate the end of the ride. Well, that does it for me from this year's Rideau Lake Cycle Tour. I got the t-shirt, I got the certificate, and I completed the ride. It was a beautiful weekend and a great day for riding.